Yo, what's good, Granny Gang? It's Granny back with another video. And in today's video, I'm gonna be showing you guys how to style balaclavas, or better known as face masks. So we got face masks, we got balaclavas, we got ski masks, we got the Donda mask, we got the Kanye West mask, the Narcissist Playboy Cardi mask, whatever you want to call it. That's what we're going to be talking about today. We're going to be talking about balaclavas or better known as face masks. I feel like every time I say balaclavas, the person that doesn't know anything about fashion finna look at me and be like, what is a balaclava? And I'm finna be like the face mask and they ain't gonna be like, oh. I know what you're talking about. So I do actually have four different masks to show you guys today. Each one of them is pretty different. It kind of covers every single category that I just named, whether you like Kanye West and Playboy Cardi, or you already been wearing balaclavas and you just want a way to style them or some inspo or something like that. So I'm gonna give a breakdown of all of those, what makes them different and what I would personally style them with. And then I'm gonna go ahead and get into a brief history of just mask balaclavas and different types of inspirations and stuff like that so make sure you guys go down smash the like button i need you guys to do this i need you guys to smash the like button because youtube has not been on my side recently bro like for whatever reason we ain't getting picked up in that algorithm like we supposed to be so make sure you guys go down smash the like button i need at least a thousand likes on this video so do that subscribe if you haven't yet and lastly follow the boy on instagram now i'm gonna say this one time and one time only i got the most fire instagram so y'all already know y'all gotta go spam that up with likes i also show love back so if you go in there spam it comment something and i'm gonna see it i'm gonna show you some love bro but we're gonna go ahead and hop into the video so before i get into the mask that i picked up i did want to give like a brief history of just balaclavas in general because i want to make sure you know what a balaclava is before you go ahead and cop one and start dressing with it and whatnot so basically what a balaclava is is a form of cloth headgear design Designed to expose only part of the face, usually the eyes and the mouth. So you got different types of balaclavas. You got like your knit balaclava, which we've seen a ton of different brands make. This is probably gonna be the most common like ski mask type of balaclava. So you can find this one almost anywhere. It's usually the easiest to find in my personal opinion, but you got your ski mask. These usually look just a tad bit different other than it being knit. They usually have like one big opening towards the eyes. Occasionally you'll see like a mouth open Opening, but usually is like a full face covering to kind of like keep you warm and cozy but you also have like your polyester spandex mix type of balaclava now usually you're gonna see this with more of like sporting goods so I know like Nike has some of these um, I personally have one by Marine Sear this is probably gonna be like kind of the most common but sometimes it's like hard to find like a good one usually you can go to like any sporting goods store or something like that you can go in like the skiing or like the snowboarding section and they'll use usually have this type of balaclava now this usually fits a little bit different they do have one that's like a full face covering spandex with like the opening of the eyes you're never really gonna see any mouth openings on these ones but they do got a couple of different variations and then of course you have a couple of other different masks that we see surfacing up I'm not gonna talk about it quite yet because we gonna get into it but I did want to kind of go back to the inspiration that I think these face masks kind of started from so personally I feel like as of recent the reason we've been seeing so many balaclavas is just simply based off we gotta wear face masks and face coverings and that's really been enforced for 2020 to 2021 so I think it was kind of like natural for people to start gravitating to different ways they can wear a mask or a covering over their nose and mouth so I think people like wanted to be different especially when it comes to fashion because you know all of us fashion people try to think out the box when it comes to an outfit but I feel like it just became super popular to just wear face masks we seen a bunch of rappers doing it i think we seen like push icy g herbo of course like kanye did it a long time ago playboy cardi trippy red myself you feel me we not finna just throw this category in like i like your boy ain't been doing a little bit of influencing you know what i'm saying but that has pretty much become a huge thing because of the illness going on but i did want to specifically talk about somebody who has heavily influenced a mask but like a different type of mask 
over the years and now, and that's Kanye West. So as we know, Kanye West did drop Donda and we seen him popping out with several different masks. Now Kanye has kind of been doing masks for quite some time now. We've seen him do performances with like the Marzella mask. We've seen him do different ski masks. We've seen him do, um, of course, like the full t-shirt mask. He actually has this mask right here, which I'm actually not sure what to call it, but that joint is fire as well. And then he has the full like Marzella like um i, I want to say it's like I, I, what's the material i can't think of it. it's not like spandex it's like it's like the joints it's like the sock joints that like people be wearing with i don't know but he be having that on and the reason he came to that is because kanye is a huge fan of margella so like i mentioned earlier we have seen kanye wear different margella masks in the past but i feel like he's just a huge fan of that he's also adopted the designer dima to come over and kind of help him with different things for his albums as far as looks and aesthetic and stuff like that i feel like kanye really like draws some deep inspirations and then brings them to life for the newer generations or for just people that kind of understand it so if you don't know basically martin margella the designer of Margiela used to use these masks for his shows because as I believe he didn't want the models to have any type of like recognition and stuff like that so he kind of put these face coverings over a bunch of different models in his earlier shows so Kanye pretty much adapted this exact type of representation in his new album so as you can see like he had the big listening parties and he had everybody wearing face masks so you really couldn't tell who was who and then obviously you know the center of the stage Kanye has on the mask. So that's pretty much like my whole umbrella statement of just face masks and different type of inspirations and stuff like that. But I did want to go ahead and get into the actual mask that I have. So like I said, I got four different masks right here. Each of them has some type of like a different element to it. But I did want to go ahead and start off with this Kanye inspired mask because we just got off the topic of Kanye. So basically I got this shirt mask for my boy Breon over at Living to Death. And it's pretty much just a cotton graphic t-shirt cut and sewn into the design where you can wear it on your head. So if you are looking for one of these masks, you can definitely go ahead and go to Living to Death. I'll put the ad up and stuff like that. He did want me to remind you guys that they are a one-man team over there. So he does ask that you guys be patient when it comes to making these. I'm pretty sure that you can't just mass produce these as well. So he did make this mask. And one of my biggest questions and other people's concerns about the mask is is like can you see and breathe through this joint and i gotta say oddly yes so it does have holes towards the eye area so you definitely can see through the mask you can always like make bigger holes and like punch bigger holes if you want to make one yourself or something like that but definitely um not as hard as you think to see through the mask and breathe through the mask so definitely is something that you can just wear whenever you want to but i did want to show you guys a outfit that i did pair with this and we're gonna get into that right now. So with this outfit, I really just wanted to keep a vintage vibe just because the mask really reminds me of a vintage band tee. I really just used a bunch of layers for the top. So I have a minimal basic tee, minimal everyday hoodie, and a minimal hooded vest. For the bottoms, of course, we got the Menace Denim. Footwear are the Yeezy Season 3 Desert Boots. And then the accessories is just a too far gone chain. Now the next balaclava that I wanted to show was this one by Marine Sayre and I've actually had this one for the longest time. I had this like pre Donda, Cardi and all that so as soon as you'd be like oh Kanye West and Cardi they inspire everybody to wear the mask. We've been wearing the mask. You feel me? Like we've been we've been having them joints. But this one right here is by Marine Sayre. Um, it is pretty much just a spandex mask. This one is by far the easiest to style because it has the slimmest silhouette and it's black. So you can almost just wear it under or not under, but you can almost wear it with anything that seemingly has any type of like black in it. 
So this next outfit is pretty unique, I'm not gonna lie to you. It's almost like a cross between like a high-end outfit and like a work outfit, but that's kind of what this mask reminds me of because it is like a spandex mask, but it is a high-end designer. So of course we have the Marine Sarah mask, we have the Seventh Heaven hoodie in black, the minimal leather puffer jacket, and then for the bottoms, I got the Elwood shorts and the starter spandex underneath. So the spandex to me is what really ties it all together, but I ended it off with the Swear Exterminator boots. So for the second Marine Sarah outfit, I actually wore this one on Instagram, but for the top, I have an ambush tee, I have a DSG thermal minimal jacket hanging off the back, and then for the bottoms, I got my favorite minimal cargo pants, footwear is off-white rigid boots, and then for the accessories, I have an Elite's buckle chain and bracelet. For the third mask, I did want to show you guys this white one that I recently purchased. And obviously I had to pick up a white one because I got like three different black ones right here. So definitely picked up this white one off of Amazon. I think it was like either, it was between like 10 to 15 bucks, bruh. So if you do want a mask and you don't want to spend a ton of money, I believe the Marine Sayer one was like, dang near two to three hundred dollars the um kanye mask one was around maybe like fifty dollars fifty sixty dollars but this one right here ten to fifteen bucks bro so i'm gonna leave this link and all of the other links down in the description if you did want to check these out Styling this white mask has been one of my favorite things to do since I got it, but this outfit in particular I feel like is a very techie but like futuristic type outfit. So of course the mask is from Amazon, the top is by Paria Farzane, the bottoms are from Lot Number, and then the footwear is a Calvin Klein bulky shoe by Raph Simmons. And then for the accessories we have the Balenciaga glasses and this clear chain. And then lastly for the mask, we got this one, which is actually one of my absolute favorites because it just has a crazy design to it, but it's by my boy over at X War. So they actually made this in three different colorways. They have the black, they have one that's like a deep red, and then they have like a pink colorway. They're probably all sold out by now, but you can definitely go to the boy's website, check it out. They might have these in stock still. I'm actually not sure, but definitely check them out. They got some other fire pieces, but this mask right here is just a representation of just one that's a little bit more out of the norm so you're not going to see this type of mask anywhere else but i did want to show it because i feel like it's the most unique out of them so it's pretty much like a puffer mask or like a down mask or whatever you want to call it but it has the coolest design so you have a bunch of different like triangle stitch down jacket puffs on the head of it and then for the neck you do have a knit so for the last fit of the video, this is one that I again wore on Instagram, but I pretty much just wanted to black out this entire fit and just let the mask and the shorts complement each other. So pretty much for the tops, I got the BBS sweater with the Villa hoodie on top of it. Then I have the Rick Owens Times Montclair shorts, which is like a perfect puffer short for this mask. And then for the footwear, I have again the Swear Exterminator boots. And then one thing that makes this whole outfit come together is the accessories. I got the Vitaly chain and I have the North Skull chain hanging right under it. But that is pretty much it for the video. If you guys would like to see more of these like how to style type series, please let me know down in the comments and let me know what you would like to see styled on here. So that is pretty much it for the video. I hope you guys enjoyed it. If you did, make sure you go down, smash the like button, subscribe if you're new, and I'll be back to you with more. Peace. Yeah. Just give me one more night and I'll be good Smoke that what?